If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. Each summer in New Hampshire, libertarians throw two festivals, Porkfest and Forkfest. Attendees love alternatives to government fiat money and have long used cryptocurrency and metals to transact. Indeed, I attended both festivals in 2020 and was able to spend gold backs on every meal I purchased in my two weeks there. On the final day of Forkfest, I spoke with several vendors about their experience with gold backs. Customers paid you with gold backs, apparently? Yeah, I got a, a bunch here. Um, right. So I never, I mean, I had seen these things online, yeah. but I didn't really know much about them. Um, I love the idea. They're really beautiful artwork. Did you have more than one client pay with gold backs? Uh, I did. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I got two people that came in and bartered with gold backs. Great. That's so fantastic. that was new to me. I hadn't seen these before, uh, but I like this idea. I think people could understand what this is. Did you happen to spend any gold backs while you were here? I think the wine up here. Oh, the wine. Okay, the right Jesus on. Juice. The blood of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Reformed Satanic Church chose to price its wine yeah. in gold backs. What drove that decision? I ended up settling on two dollars per cup, mm -hmm. but when I went to make the sign advertising it, it just seemed fitting. Because we, we don't actually accept dollars here. Mm. I mean, especially for the wine. Right. Uh, Why? None, of, none of Caesar's money. Okay. So only only crypto and gold backs. And real silver. money. You yeah. only accept real money here. Right. And Which... it's one gold back per cup. People find it easier. They don't have to whip out their phone. They don't have to scan a QR code. They don't have to do any of that. So I mean, most of our wine sales mm -hmm. have been for gold backs. Very little of it has been for crypto. We did two full weeks of intermittent cooking, crock pot stuff and then skillet stuff. Mm -hmm. So. We had vegan chili first, and then the fish, mm -hmm. breakfast stuff. And uh, did you have customers pay you with gold backs? We did. I think that having different kinds of currency is uh, makes makes it easier for people to be able to help themselves be decentralized and to have more variety in, in how they spend money, how they do things. So far out here we've enjoyed a, a multitude of different meals, everything from lobster rolls to seared ahi tuna, top sirloin, and that lemon cracked peppercorn salmon, vanilla cashew cream iced coffee, which is a, a dairy-free coffee beverage, which is made from whole ingredients, including real vanilla bean and whole cashews. No farmed animals are, are used in the process, and it's really delicious and healthy. I love to wake up every morning and have one myself, or two. I've received them from more customers than I could even say. Plenty of people have paid with them or tipped with them and they're really fun to receive. They're the most divisible gold product that I could possibly imagine. Uh, and having a whole stack of them is a whole stack more fun than having just one of them. So they're really fun to collect and stack up. And you know a thing or two, I mean, you are Silver Dave. You actually used to run uh, Sons of Liberty Mint. So you've been in the business. That's right. And to, for you to be impressed by a product, uh, it says something about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I was in the I was in the business of trying to make divisible fractional silver. Yep. These guys did it with gold. My CBD infused um, superfood coffee called Love Java is ten dollars per cup, mm -hmm. and um, a couple people were like, "Will you take gold backs? Uh, three of them for a ten dollar cup? Yep. No problem. I love the diversity. Got some silver in there. Yep. Yeah, um, people seemed happy to use them, and um, I was happy to accept them and add them to my stash of alternative currencies. This is the first time that I transacted in gold backs. However, a couple of weeks ago, um, someone that came to your Storm the Beach event uh, was given a gold back from you, which also met me at a lunch at Sunday River Brewing Company mm -hmm. when uh, they opened against the governor's orders, and my daughter dared him for something or something, and. All he had was a gold back, so she earned a gold back for a dare. All right. That was our first experience. We got a cool picture by the river, and then um, she also uh, earned her own gold backs here, I think, this year at Fork Fest, and um, I've got some myself. I sell my book, Government, The Biggest Scam in History Exposed, mm -hmm. and while I haven't sold it yet for gold backs, I have made change for it in okay. gold backs. I have given, uh, I've given tips in gold backs to the employees at Rogers Campground, one of them for, for uh, giving me a ride on something. How'd that go? 
Uh, he loved it, absolutely. And then I'm getting more asset-based money into the hands of people. Mm -hmm. And if there was a dollar crisis, if there was a dollar devaluation, it's a no-brainer to get okay. you know asset-backed money into the hands of the people. Has anyone here turned up their nose at the gold back and said, I don't want that? No, no. no. I've seen people that aren't taking dollars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or only taking crypto. Oh, yeah. I like my gold backs. I like when people, uh, you know, even offer to pay pay with them. I'm absolutely going to take those. They're really cool. Twenty different people probably asked me if I accepted them, and I did. I know I I know I got more crypto than gold backs, mm -hmm. but it was definitely a down year for crypto mm -hmm. and a surprisingly busy uh, busier year than I expected for gold backs. Even though it's the first time around the for this. The first. Those. Yeah. I didn't expect to get as many as I got. Right. Like a bunch. Eighty percent cash. Mm -hmm. One percent. Crypto and then nine percent gold, gold backs. Backs. Okay. Not yeah. Bad. I got more cash than I got crypto or precious metals. However, I would say I got more gold backs by f I got more gold backs than by far any other precious metals during this pork fest. But even compared to prior pork fests, I got questionably more circulation of these gold backs than any other precious metals thing. Uh, and I did more gold backs than I did crypto, really? interestingly enough, but not by a lot. Okay. But Still that's though, for first gold year. backs compared to all different types of cryptos mm -hmm. put together. Mm -hmm. Did you get the chance to actually spend any gold backs while you were here? Did I you was, hold them? I was thinking of keeping them. Since I only have a few, I usually keep the silver that I take in, and I keep the crypto I take in, and I keep the gold that I take in. and use the cash for regular life outside of here? Oh, I spent a ton of gold backs here. Yeah, I would say it's probably been a 50-50 split between gold, gold backs and cryptocurrency. Now, and of course, you... I'm a cryptocurrency advocate, but the gold backs are just so convenient. Sometimes I just leave my phone in my car or something, but that's okay, because I've got gold with me. Mm -hmm. Being able to carry around, you know, $3-ish of gold and spend that is incredible. I mean, who would have ever expected that? Because how much, how much gold is that? A little tiny flake that people would lose if it was just a nugget form or whatever yeah. having it as a gold bat makes it actually usable i have just stockpiled them interesting okay but i'm not against spending them right. just that i've also kept my spending sort of low while i've been here amazingly enough so it's my great pleasure to receive these so if you get yourself a chance to get one of these gold backs or maybe more than one you should you should be happy to receive it. you should okay. you should welcome it they're worth their weight in gold they're really fun uh and i really love them. smoothie i bought uh, a pina colada. Okay, very nice. I bought something else. Um, a t-shirt maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bought sustenance and warmth. I made change with some gold backs. Mm -hmm. I paid for um, at least part of one dinner with gold backs, the other part with crypto. I think I bought a uh, like a part of a sling or something like that. So things were for sale besides food for gold backs. Oh yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if you throw it out there, somebody's going to say yes or no. Yeah. So. Did anyone say no? No. There's all these innovations in currency, either coming from the gold back or coming from the you know from cryptos. That uh, if I was, you know, central banks, you know, I would be worried. There's you know there's alternatives. There's new kids on the block, and they've got you know better features and better benefits than the uh, incumbent monopoly provider run by intergenerational organized crime running the government and the media. I feel like people. Here, the money is the root of all evil, and when they look at the government money, that's believable. Yeah. Um, but the other monies that we're talking about here, they don't have any sort of evil aspect to them. They're helpful, aren't they? I think fear is the root of all evil, personally. That's, I think fear is the root of all evil. I don't think money is, I mean, I mean, I think greed even stems from fear. Of course. I think hate stems from fear. Mm -hmm. Anything can be used for evil. You can use love, love in an evil way. I mean, anything. Sure. But you can also, conversely, use anything for good. It's, it's up to the, the person wielding and the person receiving if it's going to be good or evil. What do you think about the uh, coming New Hampshire gold back idea? Well, I've heard about it, and I'm really excited. And uh, I haven't seen the design, but I look forward to seeing it. And I hope that they can be an even bigger hit than the Utah. You know, I really love New Hampshire. I love the White Mountains. I think this is a really great place to live, not just because there's a lot more gun freedom in New Hampshire for people, but there's, you know, beautiful terrain. There's also a great community growing in New Hampshire and a community that's trading in precious metals and cryptocurrencies and leading the way 
is really in New Hampshire, in my opinion. Definitely. Absolutely. I can't wait. I don't even want these lousy Nevada ones. I want our own. <laughs> We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters. <laughs>